You can't celebrate Tennessee in any kitchen across the state without some kind of Southern influence from a legend like Daisy King. And today we're sharing one of her classic recipes. She's making for us today a carrot cake with a fresh cream cheese frosting and boy love this and got a couple of different options for us as far as how we're going to serve this. We're going to serve it and what mm -hmm. you can do with it. So let's just start out is our basic standard recipe. Four eggs I've already beaten in here. Okay. In the bowl and then this is a cup and a half of vegetable oil. So you may turn the mixer on uh, right. gently. And then to, to that we're going to add two cups of all-purpose flour. All right. So carefully, so it won't get on your pretty soup. <laughs> and then two cups of granulated sugar. Okay. That's regular sugar. That'll tone it down just a little bit. And then we're going to add our spices. We're going to start out with three teaspoons of cinnamon. We're going to add that. Oh, you're doing a great job. Right. Two teaspoons of baking powder. Two teaspoons of baking soda. And one teaspoon of salt. Mix that well. Right. And then we're going to add you. three cups of packed uh, shredded carrots. That's three cups of packed shredded carrots. So we'll add those in. And you're welcome at this stage. You can keep mixing or use a spoon, either one. Okay. And then our nuts that we're going to add. The recipe will say black walnuts or pecans. Or in Nashville, if you can't get black walnuts, just English walnuts are fine. Because yeah, you were saying black walnuts can, can be hard if you can find them. Right. They may they're be mainly a bit grown in California, and mm -hmm. they're very in Oregon as well. But they're really expensive in Nashville, like thirteen or fourteen dollars a pound. Ooh. So I try to have uh, buyer-friendly ingredients when, <laughs> when I'm uh, showcasing a recipe. So we'll add the carrots, All and then right. we want to bake it. We're going to uh, grease our uh, nine-inch pans. And I grease and I flour, and sometimes I'll put a little wax paper in there so that they okay. will come out. And so, Leland, over here in front of you, this is my cake circle. I have the bottom layer, and you're thinking, well, what's going to go in there? All right. We're going to make the cream cheese frosting that we were talking about. And this is just your traditional cream cheese frosting. A box of confectioner sugar, mm -hmm. or powdered sugar, okay. eight ounce cream cheese softened, a half a cup of walnuts or pecans, and uh, one a half a cup of butter. And a lot of people add vanilla to it. I don't add any vanilla to this one because I want the carrots to really stand out. But that, that is the viewer's choice. And so we're going to bake these layers at 325 to 350 for about 25 minutes, let them cool, make your frosting, then ice your frosting, ice your cake, and mm -hmm. then you see what we have over here. Yeah, and you've got several different ways that you're doing this. You can do the traditional cake, and we'll talk just a second here about the carrots on uh, on top, uh, or you can do the mini cupcakes. You said this recipe would do 60 it of those? It will do 60 of the mini cupcakes, mm -hmm. and I I'm, I'm hope you're going to eat one before we finish. All right. Well, tell you what. Actually, somebody else may come in and get one. We'll see. Oh, we'll okay, we'll see. I, I don't know. Uh, but tell me about the other uh, the carrots on top. The carrots on top are like candied grapes or candied fruit that you put on something. But these carrots, you actually cook in water and sugar for about 15 minutes. Uh -huh. And then put them on a flat pan in the oven and then you bake them for about another 30 minutes. And then, of course, they're going to curl because I use like a potato peeler yeah. or a carrot curler and just take the outside off. And, it works. and they're a little labor intensive. Now, we the carrot cakes we sell at the market don't have these gorgeous things on. This was just for our display today. We had to step it up a notch. <laughs> but it looks good. It looks like somebody's coming in to... to oh, oh, Meryl's getting it. Oh. <laughs> just one there, but uh, I'm going to try one here in just a second. Oh, but as always, so we appreciate you. You can head out to Grassland Market in Franklin for a slice of Miss Daisy's carrot cake with cream cheese frosting. Oh, I'm going to get one here in just a second.